To all the skeptics out there that wonder if Bigfoot exists, well, here's your proof. Hi folks, John with the Wingman 115 channel. If you are like me, you love your electronic devices. Your cell phones, your iPads, your laptops, your drones, your action cameras, the list goes on and on. Well, all those devices need some sort of external power source if you're gonna be using them in remote locations like I do, where I go out into the woods, I have my little bush camp out there where I test and review gear. Well, the folks over at Tough Tested have come out with a 24,000 milliamp power bank called Bigfoot. This is a huge honking device, but for folks now that require a lot of power and for this to last for a long time, I think they've met our needs and then some. So what we're gonna do, like always, we're gonna cut away, we're gonna do a quick specs rundown. I'll take you up close and personal, show the ins and outs of this device and then as always we'll bring it 360 back here to the home studio where we'll do some final thoughts and then you decide whether this device will work for you and meet your needs folks come along and join me the video starts now Now for some final thoughts on the tough tested Bigfoot power bank. First off, 24,000 milliamps. Let me tell you what, that met and exceeded my needs. I was recently on a vacation to Northern Maine. I spent about eight days up there visiting my mom, went bird hunting, driving around in the North Maine woods, took a ton of drone footage. And uh, if folks, aren't familiar with like the Mavic Pro, what you do is you link your iPhone to the remote. Well, what happens there is that over time, your cell phone just gets zapped for, uh, well, the iPhone just gets zapped for energy anyway. So what I like to do is that when I hit 50%, because I'm flying that drone, I like to top off my phone. That way I make sure that I don't have any problems. I don't wanna lose my drone, especially out in a dense forest or over a lake and such. So over the course of a week, I wanted to see how long this would work. I got at least 10 charges out of this unit. Now, the manufacturer claims if you use the iPhone 8 or 10, you're gonna get at least eight to 10 charges out of it. I'm not the type of person that likes to run my equipment all the way down to the red zone I'm just old school, I don't like to do that. I like to be always prepared, so I never like my phone to get below 30%. Your mileage is gonna vary on that, whether you take it all the way down or not, I can't speak to that. But I never let my phone get down past 30, then I always top it off. When I'm flying the drone, I never let it get past 50% because I don't want that drone to get too far out where my phone dies, now I can't get back that would be a bad situation. So I went all week using the Bigfoot without ever having to top off the power bank and recharge it. That right there was awesome. And I was thinking about, what if you're a uh, firefighter that does uh, wildfires, you're on a hotshot crew, or you're search and rescue, or you're just car camping, or you're on an expedition, the list goes on and on. You can just fill in the activity. 
this is going to last you a very long time now let's take a look at the charging ports and the reason i say that is because there's two usb cables that come with this unit and they have two different charge times and if you use them together it accelerates that charge let's break it down real quick if you use the type c port you get 11 to 12 hours uh, in order to top off the bigfoot if you use the micro usb it's going to take about 14 to 15 hours and i'm talking about if you use the cable solo use one or the other if you use both the cables together then we're looking at seven to eight hours to get a full recharge that's not bad for a 24,000 milliamp power bank and it's ipx67 and you're asking yourself john what's ipx67 well it's a standard on testing if stuff's waterproof or dustproof and this is waterproof and dustproof up to one meter that is not bad so if you lose this in a mud puddle if it falls in the lake and the water's not too deep then it's not gonna bother this unit now one thing that i really like about this is that it has a actual flashlight on there i've tested out a lot of other power banks and they all have nice little leds on the back and it looks nice but they're not really functional at least with this flashlight what you do is hold the button down long enough then it turns on and now it's a directional flashlight it isn't just leds that is uh, just omitting light that you can't direct somewhere. That's definitely a check in the plus column. Now, it also has the strobe and uh, it has the SOS feature. I don't think they're necessary on there, but if you're in a situation where you need that, then it has that capability. It also has a solar panel that is sourced here in the United States. And here's some of the times on the solar panel. If you're looking to take it fully charged, it's gonna take nine days, eight hours. And that's eight hours of bright sunlight every day. Um, if you're in a situation like we were, I was with my mom and my nephew and we broke down out in the woods. We were about 25 miles from home and it looked like we were gonna have to spend the night. Well, that solar panel might now become a viable option for you. It's not gonna charge it up super quick, but it might be enough to get you some juice in your cell phone to where you get a signal and you might be able to call and affect a rescue. Or if you have one of those spot devices that may need a charge. You can top it off, hit the button, now helps on the way. So it's definitely one of those uh, features that it's nice to have for those just in case moments. Comes with a carabiner, you guys seen that when I did the breakdown, has a nice little uh, metal hook on the back so you can hang it, you can clip it on a backpack. That way you have it, it's secure, it's not gonna fall out. I don't have any complaints. I used it for eight days continuously up in Northern Maine. Like I said, didn't have to top it off. It charged up my phone the entire trip. Plus I just left it plugged into my phone on the plane ride because I was watching a movie that I had on my phone. Had no issues at all. So now you wanna know how I'm gonna rate this. Well, if you follow along on the channel, you know it, that I rate everything between one and five stars. One being a dumper, that it has to go to the boneyard. Boom. Five, it's a grand slam. We hit it out of the park. Well, given the specs on this, 24,000 milliamps, IPX67, waterproof, dustproof. Got a solar panel on there. You can use two USB cables to quick charge it. I get at least 10 or more charges to my mobile phone. I have to give it five stars. Now, it weighs a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna look at my specs real quick. 553 grams that it weighs, but size and weight constraints. 
like I said, if you're a wildlands firefighter, if you're a contractor, if you're doing a lot of things, fill in the blank, where weight is not an option, then I highly recommend the Bigfoot. I'll leave links in the video description below on where you can find the Bigfoot. Folks, this is John with the Wingman 115 channel. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, folks.